Hey guys, what up? Welcome to another Pokemon X and Pokemon Y Wyvern battle. And today, I'm bringing you guys a multi battle between myself and my friend Matthew against uh, Colin and Beethoven. I believe I've uploaded a battle against Beethoven before. And Colin follows me on Twitter and stuff, so I've spoken to him a few times. And yeah, I was pretty much just looking for a double battle. I might be doing this often, actually, where uh, myself and Matthew team up against people. So if you follow me on Twitter and you ever see me ask and you want to battle, then by all means, please accept and it'll more than likely get uploaded because I don't know how many multi battles I'll get. But yeah, it's a multi battle. And uh, yeah, I'll just go over the teams real quick. I brought Dragonite, Greninja, and Alakazam. Matthew brought Closter, Gengar, and Scizor. Beethoven has Spiritomb, Mawile, and Rotom Wash. While Cullen has Aerodactyl, Pikachu, and Scizor. Don't understand Pikachu really, but that's his own personal choice. So, yeah, thanks to these guys for willing to battle us, I guess. It was really cool of them. So, let's just get into the battle. Alright, so, this is actually a pretty strange battle. I I've been in a few multi battles before, and they've never really gone well for me, and this is a circumstance of that happening. So, I'm gonna off with Dragonite, and, uh, Cluster is gonna be Matthew's lead. I'm gonna switch out, like, right away, expecting the Will O Wisp from the Rotom Wash. I should have went out to Greninja, I decided to go to, uh, Alakazam, so anyone wouldn't take Will O Wisp damage, and Matthew actually goes out into his own Scizor, uh, predicting a, like, Volt Switch or something on his Cluster. Colin is gonna ride off his Mega Evolve into his Mega Scizor. Which is pretty cool. And uh, you're gonna see actually a Mega Scissor Showdown on the next turn whenever Matthew Mega Balls his. So, goes for a uh, Will O Wisp on my Alexam, which I did expect to happen to my Dragonite. And I didn't want that to happen because obviously Dragonite burn is not good. Though I do get smashed by an Iron Head, which is why I said I should have went to Greninja because I probably would have been able to take it as a Greninja. And uh, yeah, so I am gonna go out to Furbit, which is actually a uh, modest. Protein uh, Greninja that was traded to me by Maryland as a Pokies. That was pretty cool of him. As Matthew does evolve into Mega Scizor, I'm gonna go for a Surf and just get off as much damage as I can. I wanted to learn hurt like everything. I think our main aim was to like hurt the Mega Scizor because all I have is U turn, Ice Beam, and Dark Pulse. I should have probably Dark Pulse the, uh, the Rotom Wash as I do get taken out here by Thunderbolt. So I'm already down two Pokemon in the second turn, <laughs> which is awful. As he now goes for an X Scizor, I assume that was probably meant to be for me, but he does go, uh, well, he attacks, uh, Scizor, and does get a critical hit, which is unfortunate for us, as Matthew goes for an X Scizor of his own, and, uh, brings this Rotom down to weak HP, and does get it to eat up its Citrus Berry. So now I'm gonna go out into D-Knight, and what I can do is actually go, well, he actually switches out into his, uh, well, Beethoven switches out into his Mawa, actually predicting me to go for a Dragon Claw, which is what I go for, because we were gonna target the, uh, Target the Rotom Wash and take that out, but he got predicted as he goes out into his, uh, out into his Mawal, and Matthew Scizor is taken out by an Iron Head from, uh, Cullen Scizor. But now we're in a decent enough position as he can go out into his Gengar, and I'm really able to go for an Earthquake here with my, uh, Dragonite, because it doesn't affect Matthew, so he's not gonna lose HP because of it. And it's gonna be, uh, decent on the Scizor as well as super effective on the Mawal. So he goes for Sucker Punch, Matthew actually went for Substitute, which is a great play, because that means he doesn't get hurt by the, sub or the Sucker Punch, obviously. And I can go for an Earthquake, which is obviously not going to affect Gengar from Levit because of Levitate. And at the range Maul is at, it is going to be able to get the Knockout. So, Scizor is at very low HP, uh, Beethoven is down one Pokemon, that's his first Pokemon down. As uh, Night Slash does hit the Substitute, which is fine, the Substitute was great though, because it did stop the Sucker Punch, and uh, Earthquake obviously wasn't going to hit it anyway, so... Goes on now into his Spiritomb. Now this thing is a problem, and Spiritomb is always a problem. It's nice to see a shiny Spiritomb as well. As I go for the uh, Fire Punch, I believe, on the Scizor while he goes for a... Uh, well, Matthew goes for a Substitute with his Gengar. That sub is going to be pretty pivotal. So, I go for a Fire Punch, take out the Scizor, which is great. And I believe I do get Toxic Tear, which does break my multi-scale. Unfortunately, I did not put the leftovers on my uh, Dragonite like I was supposed to. If I did, then I would have been back at full HP, so I would have, uh, I would have had one turn of multi-scale extra, I guess. As he next out into his Pikachu, and, uh, Gengar goes for the Sludge Bomb, I think that was a misclick, he's meant to go for Shadow Ball on the Spiritomb, but, uh, yeah, he went for a Sludge Bomb. Colin goes for Thunderbolt, and that does a hell of a lot to my Dragonite, to my surprise, but I am able to get an Earthquake off. 
which is obviously going to knock out the Pikachu, and it's going to do a decent enough amount to the Spirit Tomb, so Pikachu just dies, which is great, and uh, Matthew's still sitting uh, pretty swiftly behind, or safely, not swiftly, sitting safely behind the Substitute, as my Dragonite survives the Dark Pulse, but because of the toxic damage, I am going to be knocked out, and that's where I thought the whole, uh, if I had leftovers, I would have gotten that HP back, and the multiscale wouldn't, well, would have done, the Thunderbolt from Pikachu would have done less damage, and my multiscale, well, I would have had enough HP to live that toxic damage, I guess. Alright, so, in comes Aerodactyl, and it goes for the Crunch, which is going to break the substitute of Gengar. Matthew decided that, uh, the bigger threat to him, in his opinion, is definitely the Gengar, or not the Gengar, the, uh, Aerodactyl, because it does outspeed him, so, goes for a Thunderbolt, and just straight up KOs the Aerodactyl, it was a critical hit. Not sure if that would have mattered, I think it may have, but Aerodactyl does go down, and he is going to get taken out by a Dark Pulse by, uh, by Spiritune. So, Matthew's down to one Pokemon, and, uh, Beethoven here has two Pokemon left. So, Matthew is forced to go out into his Closter, which is his last Pokemon, and, uh, luckily for us, we get Hacks. Alright, so, first Quick Clock kicks in, I don't know if you'd call that Hacks, but Matthew does go for the Water Pulse. And with Mega Launch, that is boosted, brings it to 1 HP. Fortunately for us, we do get the Confusion, and the Confuse Hacks is in our favor, as Spiritomb is going to get knocked out. We're still in a bad position, though, because we do have that Rotom Wash to deal with, and that is at half HP. But yet again, luckily for us, the Quick Claw comes through, and that is going to let us go first. Go for an Aura Sphere and KO the Rotom Wash from that range of HP. So yeah, a battle we probably should have lost, but the Quick Claw does come in handy. And yeah, that was pretty great. So, for any of you guys who would like to do a double battle against us, or double battle with me at some point, just hit me up on Twitter. I usually respond there when it comes to, like, battles and stuff. So, yeah, just like to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed this uh, Wi-Fi battle thing that I shouldn't have won. And I'll see you guys for more shortly enough. Catch you guys then.